and somebody goes home with a broken heart. Absolutely. Um, yeah, it couldn't be more tense. Saw players walking to the bathroom, kind of emphatically going over what oh, they need to focus oh, on. Oh, Deha, oh, they need to focus on him. He's ragged, but look at everybody swarming now in the B apartment, CTs and Ts alike. Frozen, ready to reclaim this, a freebie given by Sun Pius. And Torzi has gotten all the way up and around through that A site, so there are still individual duels to be done. It's Frozen versus Snappy, point blank, and Snappy comes out on top. He takes the place of Deha, pushes inwards, and now Torzi is gonna have to come out from the market and find both individual duels. Oh, oh. Madden gets the better. Wow. The USP's reign supreme. Deha primed it. And of course, Madden and Snappy gonna close in with what is Entz's pistol win. So two places in which Entz struggle a bit on Mirage are their pistols, number one, and their, their T sides a little bit. Shooting at about 45%. Mao's at about 55% for each. Lots of maps played for these teams on the map. Of course, a win for Mao's with just a few rounds margin previously versus Entz. This could go any direction. I feel like it goes 30 rounds. I think both teams know that that's a threat for sure. Dexter gets burnt to a crisp and Sun Pius just churns him up inside that palace. Three kills to the MP9, USP to finish. That right there is an op. Yeah, that's true. He jumps right into it versus the buy for Mouse. And you know, this is where the emotions are going to fly. Both these teams could have potentially ended it in two. You know, there was a real world where I think that was the case. And that's what makes this head to head so special. Strong maps to go for both sides a bit stompier in both first maps than I think you could have anticipated reasonably. But the perfect third map battleground to end things. Diva's got a gap on this window. Exertion will be left behind those boxes. Snappy, <gasps> nade out, nade out. JDC closes in. It's a five versus four with the first gun round from Mouse, and that bomb's gonna trail in behind it. Valda already tagged down to 70. Diha's looking to lend a helping hand. He manages to skirt over towards the bench, and now Valda, he's gonna pop up, and they're not even looking. Never saw that coming. Nade goes deep, and the man advantage evaporates. That's a tricky re-aggression because they now have two more CTs here, so they know that mid is gonna be weaker, and the A side maximum has two, but that's just enough to staff the, staff the site efficiently. Sitting inside of Sandwich is not the best place in the world for Madden. Can't really, I think, change for a ramp control. So connector on the attack for Malice could be a great way to loosen up the defense. But look, the guy who made all the money on his op. Unscoped. Yeah, because he doesn't have anybody watching a ramp for him. So he's taking a risk every time he goes up top, but he's willing to take that risk. It's an opening oh. and Sun Pius. Skewers, Frozen, and Torzi. However, Exertion can still slip in here. Turns it back towards jungle. Nice move, Dia. Yeah, he waits that extra second, slides back out, pushes this onto the shoulders of Dexter. 15 seconds, runs across jungle, has enough health to do this. CTs could stack up, and it's damage in. He's got a little bit of cover, makes it over towards default. And what if Dexter stands tall this early in the map? Oh, more done. Catches one in the open, and Dexter, one shot would do it. Sun Pius, oh. however, finds him. And that's three from Sun Pius. Wow, he was so close. Dexter comes into that angle, understands how Zampias needs to re-aggress, has angle dominance, and nearly gets the bullet off. It's so close. But Zampias, what a round. I mean, the collateral on top of willing to take the risk. And that was the big one. And Look he, at that. He, he noticed what Mouse would want to do. And there was some stutter stepping up in the halls from Mouse on the B side after getting Snappy down early. Snappy was probably pretty frustrated about dying in that fashion. Nearly got a smoke off and maintained an important part of the map, but the rotations around him were so solid, mm -hmm. it felt like there were six players that round. And now Ents have three. Mouse have none. The guns still in this one. You know, nobody's signing Dexter for his fragging ability. That's just the reality of the situation. Leaving him in a clutch like that, if he could cut that on the board early on, fire up some of these members of Mouse. You see what the clutch does to the likes of Snappy. 
You know, that is kind of an interesting conversation because on the world stage, yes. But when he was in Australia, his stats were the best in the whole region. I mean, he really was a strong fragger, but translating that into Europe, I mean, the step up in competition kind of exposed his weaknesses. But as a caller, of course, that was his other added value. And I thought you would get the two for one. And right now, in terms of calling, he's been doing a great job, but he will be liable for a great highlight every once in a while. And that round was a, a very close example of that. Yeah, I think put him in a clutch. It's doable. Give him a deagle. He can surprise you. He can make, you know, something from nothing on those sorts of rounds. I think. And now Valda, he's going to be pressured. Oh, keeps wow. it clean That's against Exertion. Such However, missed shot. Senpai is pinned against Ticket. Valda, he'll catch JDC, who just gets burned out by Madden. Blinded, I believe, as he ran in. However, Torzi Ooh. still little bits of recovery here for the Mouse Camp. Trying to press in, pressuring Valda. <laughs> Bomb hits the ground, and so will Valda right thereafter. Dexter loses possession, and while Frozen's inside default, he's already been surrounded. Chip down to 22. Wow. He'll take Diho with him. But the individuals here from Ents are sharp. Dude, the sheer amount of ADR. I mean, it looks, it's like a device type player where it's like, you know, I don't remember a Valda flick, but almost all those kills, it's like first bullet accuracy. It's right on the nose. They don't stand a chance. No wasted space on the swings. And even when he dies, he gets off like 40, 50 damage. So pretty unreal here. Start here for Valda. It's going to feel good every time they beat Mao Sports on one of their T rounds. You know, this is where you can really see Mao's take advantage of a T side and 10 5, 11 4. They're very strong on it. You can already see it's just so tense in the building right now between these two teams. Working a little bit harder than they would have liked to to secure a spot in top eight. Seeing vitality behind them by the hands of Ents. We're not even looking at the potential for a top eight, but an even deeper run without phase, vitality. Right. We say the door is open because of those shortcomings. Well, maybe Hens can slide through. JDC inspired. Hits the ground of the B site. Tech nine to the head of Valda. Big scalp to take. The little bit of Dexter that was left is dead. We've got bodies stacked up inside the market. Madden exits quickly. No and plan. check out Maus. They are stuck, but still fighting, trying. Sun Pius Diha back in with kills. Frozen welcomes that repeak. And JDC, that could have been the X Factor, but instead it's three up and Ents will hang on. Wow. No plant, as you said. Yeah, they could have put it down. There are a little bits between two minds, I think, when it came to getting out of B. We saw this problem a little bit earlier on. Getting somewhat flustered in the 5-0 start. The 10-1 start for some Pius. Damn. And he is incredibly consistent on Mirage. And unfortunately for Torzi, he is not. Now, when they played against Vitality, Torzi was probably the reason that they won. He had put up one of his best Mirage performances. So it's not the pressure for him. He can do it versus great teams. He just doesn't do it every day. Ooh, Ooh. exertion That's clean. Diha dead. Sapias finds Frozen, but Exertion's got a second and a very low HP sniper at the top of Connector as well. You can see the focus right now from Sapias. He realizes he has to do something, taking some risk, spotting one inside of the halls and thinking it's looking like an A split. Now with that information, it looks like Mauser are organizing to the other side of the map, but look at Ents. The read. They're reading one layer deep into this as well. I think it was simply that glance to the player inside a palace. Mm. And now there's actually a chance for Ents to win this. They smoke it. I think this is going to encourage Mouse forward. They're thinking Ents are afraid of this. Right, one guy throws his smoke, hopes that we don't come through it. In oh reality, Look at him go. stacked sight. Now, again, Sun Pius has taken a bunch of damage. He better hit one quick. You'd think the swarm could overdo him, but now also that seed of doubt starts to grow inside the minds of Ents. They're still close. Snappy, here's the drop. It's an insta-kill in from Dexter, but that second cat player comes through, and Sun Pius has bested Torzi. Two versus two. It was meant to be man advantage. It was meant to be Maus, but now Madden, oh, he didn't see it. JDC slides oh. through, and still that headshot's clean. JDC wraps back around Arch. Madden prepared for that. Sun Pius alive all the while. 
20 seconds, and JDC again with the element of surprise slides through sight, gets the rifle. Sunpaya, 17 health, 10 seconds. JDC trying to figure out where and when Sunpaya strikes next. Bomb plant front sight, four seconds left. Sunpaya is still quiet this whole time. JDC is so scared, but now he knows, oh. and he finds that kill, gets the first for Mouse. <laughs> Sampaius jumps and gifts one to JDC. JDC finally, after getting so many entries, makes it happen. It starts off with exertion inside of middle. Sampaius is low at this point as well. Clean one on Deha, takes down Valda, opens this entire part of the map up. The rotation from Ents, shot. the rotation from Ents off of Sun Pies' information. It's either stack B and they come or we save, and it ends up being them almost winning off of that 3v5. They bring it down to one player, so it's incredibly expensive, but it also was so expensive for Ents. Even after five rounds, they can't get an op again. Yeah, it keeps this game tight. Sun Pius held his nerve that whole time. Crazy, man. Just so quietly creeping around. It's the jump that ultimately costs him. Yeah, one shot missed and pretty much his only opportunity to not get spammed down. Sun Pius is actually going to keep that M4, so because he's hitting as hard as he is, 12 and 2, six rounds deep, they're going to give him the better weaponry. Him and Snappy with Diha scouting and Valda on just the CZ. Back into the action. Tight round so far. Good moments. Dexter sees contact to the bottom of middle. Whoa, oh, he dink. just got hit hard. Yeah, that's a huge dink on Dexter. Now he's on the back foot, actually. Oh, but Ooh. still. And, and that's Sun Pius. Valda, CZ, remember. The worst of the weapons here for Ents. Doesn't know there's a player front sight. JDC picks it up. And Snappy what? comes in with two kills. The CZ gets what's left of Exertion. Torzi has to run it down. Block in hand. Denied. Just the sidearm is enough. And Ents, the right pieces in the right position. Remember, Dexter, he was dinked so early in this round that even that first headshot seemed unbelievable. The Mactis managed a second while sitting on a chance for a third. Yeah, we saw a crazy 1v2 already. Dexter Whoa. trying to put the pieces in. Shots Still go alive. by him. Okay, he goes down. That's Madden. They close it. Snappy with that second frag. The spray is crazy through both windows. Doesn't know where the next player will peek and still manages to surmise a headshot. That'll feel good. That's the rotator into the site as well. Look at that. I mean, oh my god. There will be some struggle moments here from both teams. Already is. Yeah. The pressure means everything. You mentioned it before the game went live, right? Like, always nearly 30-round games from Ents on this map. Four maps in a row. Two of them 16-14, two 16-13. Two of those won, two of those lost. I think Ents come into this. No expectation. Oh. See what happens. Opener from Deha. Again, he didn't have to move in all of these roster moves on Mirage. He plays Connector. He is incredibly proficient at it. And it's like him and Spinks were the dynamic duo. But Sunpai is coming in and bringing in a level of Mirage where he's averaging like 1.15 to 1.30 ratings the last four maps just on ends on this map and been very consistent overall. And just achieving that again right now. 12 and 3. Already working overtime. And the Torji that really was a core reason they were able to take down uh, Vitality has not activated quite yet. We'll give him a CT side before we start pointing fingers. But they're certainly going to need him. Diha drawn back towards sight. Could open things for exertion, but he's looking the wrong way. Sun Pius point blank ends it, and this one goes down nice and smooth. All five players up for Ents. The domination on this CT side continues. Oh for yeah. the first time in this series, we get a strong CT start. Yeah, it's starting to become suffocating here for Maus. This map is not lopsided enough to just give up such a huge lead this early on. But they are absolutely not out of it. And they have been fighting. This will be the last map they play at this tournament if they lose. There are no more chances. And when you get that 2-0 start in Legends, 
you see the finish line. And sometimes you could see it a little bit too early. You've got to play like every day could be your last. And now when it finally will be for sure, are you worried about it? That god-awful feeling of being so close and yet not stepping over the finish line. We say finish line like they couldn't make a playoffs run, but Mao is already with a top four at a major event this year. Well, big event. Oh, oh there's a big one. Welcome. Torzi, op impact early. It's not as though Mao's, despite this score, have had total blowouts in every single round. There have been moments, there have been chances. And here in the ninth, they'll be presented yet another. Three players up inside the palace. Dexter's going to yeah. lay down some utility towards mid, grab bomb, and join them. That's yeah. the setup. Yep, it's a good spot. Smoke comes down in palace, but they might just try to come through this regardless. I think they can see with the window smoke, the A pressure might come out. Mm -hmm. Bomb now on the ramp. CT's sitting here. They're in a retake position, but they're 4v5. Oh, and a clean tap from <laughs> JDC on the entry once again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He looks away. Blink and you miss it. Dead in an instant. I keep this one dead simple. First kill into full A attack. And they attracted ends into holding mid for some kind of late re-aggression. And mid is very nice for the CTs if you don't if no one even comes there because A is very retakeable and B you'll have fast rotations. But when you're 5v4 like this, no one in CT spawn even spotting, it's impossible to get back up just through connector. I mean, if the T's can take in CT control, then you pretty much gotta call it a day. It takes too long to get that space back. So as mentioned, Mao is continuing to fight. Hell, they've got nothing else to do today. This is a fairly fortunate 2 2 matchup for both of these rosters. I mean, it could obviously could have been Mouse versus Vitality, you know, Ents versus who knows, depending on how some of these games have gone. Could have been Navi. Yeah, which will only make it hurt worse, and that's the only reason I want to overemphasize that. Just thinking you know you should have one. Yeah. Could have one. Feels that much more real. Would have on your best day. That's the worst one. Incendiary destined for exertion. He'll lock in behind the cement instead. Mao's not as uh, grateful in this one as... No opening op pick comes by the way of Torzi. I think it needed to be a transition from the 5v4 into their second round win just last round. Yep. Here in round 10, they'll have to continue to work. Yep. Now let's do a good job being thorough, being careful, trying to maintain 5v5 as long as possible, but they also really want to get that 5v4, even 4v4 situation before they start moving around. I think that's when they work at their highest level. All the drops of smoke, bottom connector, puts it back up. Catwalk smoke for exertion to try and lead this charge. We've got Snappy on the back site, Valda here on Arch, and he picks up that first kill. Traded out by Dexter, activates Snappy, who turns towards window, gets a glimpse of JDC. But JDC just needs to see you straight between the eyes. And Dia slides in, <gasps> the bomb. Starting to peel oh away from Cat because that A entry has got this one in Mouse. Well, they may have lost JDC at the B site, but it's going to have to be Diha to sprint to the other end of this map with no knowledge as to where Mouse could have gotten off to. We've got one deep inside the jungle. And then we've got Torzi as the insurance policy inside that palace. Far too much for Diha to do, and so he's going to have to concede this. We get Maus into that B site with the possibility to fall back. Layers yes. within it, and that's nice, right? It's the failsafe in case Dexter doesn't get that trade, in case this JDC gets stuffed as he exits out. Oh, wow. Not one, but two from Frozen. Yeah, amazing from Frozen to come out of palace on that lurk, and that's a lurk where you cannot be too slow. If you're too slow, all you're doing is walking while the post plant goes down, and the CTs can even kill your teammates as they're trying to fight and hold on to the site and wait for you. So Frozen, perfectly timed. And Lurkers have been in a very interesting conversation in the Legends stage, talking about some of the best, some of the follies of some of the better ones, and 
how particular you have to be about when you go slow, when you go fast, and that's a good example of a, a perfectly timed one. Madden just leaving the site, other player thinking about leaving the site. That's when it's time to strike. And when you put yourself in the farthest possible lurk, when you're out of Palace, time is everything. Malzahn Ancient, very hard to read when it came to when they were going to walk through mid. When Ancient first hit the scene, it was all about taking over window control and lurking almost every single round. Now that's not the case at all. As this happens with lurking throughout history, it used to be the most powerful spot, but now people have become more aware and wait longer and longer. And you have to really credit the teams that still pull them off in a number of their attacking rounds. Mel's and Ents have, can both say that they've done so. We saw the number of times that Ents took over ramp on Nuke, the amount of times Mel's were able to take over window on Ancient never got spotted. You know, just another variable between these teams that kind of makes it such a cool, comparable head-to-head. -head. At the end of the day, it's the experience of Ents that Mao's don't have. But the youthful vigor. What's that worth at a time like now? Dexter cracks open Deha. Madden stuck here, blind, waiting on the bricks. And towards connector, Sun Pius gonna succeed again. There's a chance that he goes deeper for JDC, but also Madden kind of awkward towards the ramp. Nice reposition. Sun Pius allows for JDC to cross to the other side of connector. And with those two kills, it's man advantage ends. Yeah, completely shut down at the bottom of the steps in connector. 16 and four. Wow, I mean, he's not even done yet. 35 kills in a 16-12 game yesterday. Holy hell. Versus Vitality. He's not even doing it only with the AWP. Yeah, and this is not once in a while. This is this is an above average performance on Sun Pius by, on Mirage, but not by a lot. Unreal ratings. Last two games, I think it were 1.30, so. He's still leaning on the right side of the map here. All in from Maus is going to be coming from the front of the A site. They've got Molotovs. Oh, that could have been the entry versus Valda. They're going to try to fixate in on MP9. Three kills! Oh, ho, ho, ho. Frozen Dexter Torzi. Every single player offers something. And now Snappy with low health in front of him. I mean, he could oh, still nade. piece that together, oh. but Torzi peeks with the nade destined for him. He steps out into the fray, gives Maus four. Oh, man, and with that entry pack, no money left here for Ents. Each player gets an individual kill. A yeah. stack sight from Ents unraveled. Yeah, look at some pious full HP off to right off of the stairs. Exposed for his rifling work here in this position. Torzi knows he can post up. A great call. Some great entry work once again from Maus. And a reward. Pistols on Ents. Simply pistols. Straight back to that early A presence. Dexter putting up numbers. He actually leads right now for his team. Yeah, an attack like that with no connector control and your plans became obvious. How, how often is that one? Maybe 10% of the time in today's Counter-Strike. Down goes Madden. Four to go. They have to be careful every step of the way. Exertions within that range of lethality here. Sun Pius already picks up one, but wow. Exertion finds him over top the smoke. And Deha waiting for his chance to strike back, grab the gun, sure enough, Ooh. hits the headshot. But Exertion, he'll take the headache. Mao's gunning now for this fifth. T side starting to recover yes. from what was that Ents lead. You wouldn't want this to go any other way. It's an undignified start to the game for Mao's. 1-7, spitting on their own T-sides. Not living to their true potential. Now things start to normalize, and we need to see these previous ants close games on Mirage no matter what. Maybe lacking to keep the adaptations as high, but honestly, that round, like 5v3, they were all in great spots. They just needed to do a little bit of extra damage each, and one side topples over. Even if one guy gets their kills there, that could be it for the rest of them. Valdo hoping for a parting gift, but they're already gone. So bomb blows up. 
And with it, Mouse clear the CTs as they cut that lead to two. Yeah. Instant buy here for Ents. Getting Sun Pius back to the op, right? They spend everything they got. They got no kits on this round. And we, to be fair, we haven't seen many retakes. So that might not be high on their list of priorities. As we round out the first half here of the last map. <sighs> Tight. As close as you would want it. And I'm happy to see Sun Pius back in with the AWP. When Torzi bested him on the stairs, when we got that three instant kills from Maus, that was without an off on the defense. Torzi hunting here inside the A site. They're going to elicit some protocols. A one-way smoke on the ramp, and this has to be some sort of cancel from Maus. They can chill for a second. They scared the CTs a little bit. JDC sizing up this B site. Sun Pius going to jump up. That is a brave pick to make. Yeah, missed the barrel. So won't even be given a chance That's to it. shoot down someone. I think the CTs know they have some space in mid right now. They two spotted in the B halls. Absolutely someone's helping out Torji. Deha saw all that. And even if Maus Ents don't act on it, Maus are the ones rotating around the perimeter thinking, okay, they might have come back to try to take this. So they've got to spend a little bit of time here making sure no one's in mid. Or at least that they're scared to hold it. Again, we see some mid control nades in order to attract CTs in this direction, almost ironically. Just to loosen up the A site, right? You want them to respect the idea it works. that they could go here. It locks up Deha inside connector. Dexter not checking it. Nice. Deha slides out, and right when he gets that kill, back into the A site. Mid no longer his problem. Valdo will pick up that slack. Deha has found a little safety net inside that smoke. And Madden, he's going to press in ahead of Connector. He's got support behind him in Sun Pius. Missiles not getting cleared. For the bomb oh. and JDC, what a 180. Turns it around. Sun Pius trying to fire towards the top of Palace. Wow. Towards he's in the open. And Valdo soon enough will come out from that smoke with impact, with success. So much, in fact, <laughs> that down they go. Maus cleared off this bomb site, and Ents will win another. Wow, they could not get good spots there. It felt like that could have been even worse, honestly, for Maus. They didn't cover CT properly. That should have been a palace swing to put pressure on CT in the first place. And then the smoke came up on Connector while they're phasing it, and they haven't planted the bomb yet. Like, Maus are even lucky to eat, honestly have gotten a bomb plan in this situation, so execution comes through. It's a little bit late. Dexter dies in mid straight up, and it's while running towards Connector. Mm -hmm. That's the bomb down. Because Deha slides into that little bit of cover on the smoke. Deha, 110 ADR right now, 112, 13, and 7. Yeah. So far in this half, meeting up with Sun Pius. These are regular performances from these players on Mirage. That's what Maus knew they were going to have to try and get through. Who steps up on their end? The fact that Dexter's still at the top of the board means that the stars of Maus are not aligning. Snappy looking for deep B apps control with his smoke, but if you throw it and they're ahead of it, then it of course may be a waste. And it seems like he's a little nervous because they have been pressing up very quickly. And that's speeding up map control a little bit for Maus, the fact that they can take it over. We saw Ents focus down on getting him pushed a lot early on. So Maus instantly disrespecting that, opens up the map a little bit for the T side. And they are spread out right now, but like five fingers on one hand, you can see a, a cohesive plan coming together as they lean towards the B site. With the B split. Cross from Deha. But there are two dedicated CTs inside B right now. Exertion, nade out, nade out. Oh. That's his end. Smoke fades, it's just not fast enough. Dexter, I mean, just blinded consistently. Snappy being scorched from behind that bench. It's double man advantage, and they line up for Dexter. Three as he chops down the window push, and with it, b site falls. Yeah, they lock it up. Look how far away the CTs are. Some Pius crawls forward with his op through CT spawn. In one of the last two rounds, I'm sure they glance at the money here and think, do we even want to go for this? How much time do we try? I mean, why not give it an all? 
Dexter has had to do everything to even keep Mouse in this half. He's got Frozen back behind oh. the bench, tagged down to 66, but Frozen finds his headshot. Sunpius needs the reload first, and he's just going to concede it. Saves the op, lets six slide through. Dexter, take a bow. Yeah. Yeah, star of the show. That was uh, an insane round off the spray. That's what I was thinking is they needed that JDC triple entry round to make up for it. But Dexter's not the guy you expect to be able to do that much heavy lifting by himself. The organization was good, though, on the attack with a cat split, no one in ladder room, and enough mid pressure that no one can see them crossing. Even if there are multiple CTs here, there are not many good spots for them. And they got their first kill, so it felt like they were safe. But then Dexter came through, finally, as they lacked some information on how far that cat scale had come up and got punished for it. Diha looking to get impact in mid again. The fact Exertion just got canceled, throwing his flash last round. They have to be just that one second swifter. Exertion going to try Connector yet again, but yep. Diha has had his number. He's got a tempo. I mean, they're playing with in smokes here. Some Pies doesn't see anything inside of Halls. Ooh. Oh, what a shot. Taking down Dexter, the top of Mouse at the moment. He's going to have to call from the sidelines to close out the 15th of Mouse's T side. Trying to keep it close. Torji connects, oh. but Exertion can't deliver. We have Torzi coming up from Khan. Flash deep to the ticket. Falta, does he go over? Yes, he does, but he also <laughs> goes right down. And Sun Pius has been known to Mouse this entire time. He may have gotten the opening kill, but he's been relegated to Palace. And it's a lonely life at the top as the king. He sits on the throne and waits. A final effort back versus Mouse. Torzi over towards Khan. Slides out into jungle and will end this. A T side that keeps us all on the very edge of our seats. Sun Pius and Diha out of this world, but maybe out of this major. Choose to 
15 rounds of regulation left between Entz and Maus as again these T sides deliver. This one's much closer. No blowout in the first half as it was on Ancient nor Nuke. What we have here, friends, is a close affair. And what we have here is 10 individuals with dreams on the line. A repeat playoffs performance from Entz or Maus to shatter all expectations. The dawn of a new generation. Maybe. We can't get too far ahead of ourselves. It's Entz on this T side. A capable team, a capable map for both squads. Let's let them all speak for themselves. Yes. Uh, marginal struggles here on T side, but they are absolutely capable. It's just kind of a very human T side. Oh, and you throw the jungle smoke from B. It's not good, however. It looks like it's a little bit off. I don't know if that's just a perspective lying to me, but it's going to be hard to read into. And it looks like Mouse are figuring out a good solution, getting into A ramp putting a roof over the heads and giving themselves a good angle for the palace scale. But look at Madden, he's starting to get out, frozen clean tap. Okay, okay. Dexter joins in as well. Diaz slides between them. That could be a problem. Oh, could it ever. Oh, but is there a plant here? They have potentially default frozen. He'll have to hold Ooh. and he will. Ah, the next one gets away from him, but we've got exertion now completely unbeknownst to Valda. Just hit the shot, just hit the shot. Oh, he's letting him go. Valda, he's getting him in a position where he might incidentally see Exertion. He's lost track of him. Yeah, but it's still looking like a good shot. Bombs down. Snappy's chance. 1v3 oh. denied. And we've got Maus to tie. Eight apiece. Oh, that'll bring the shoulders down a little bit. Maus will be quite happy to have a clean CT start. No plant there. And the force up comes through. Full armor. Nades. And now we can talk about Ence's T side on this map. This is where the most amount of set plays have come through. I think this is where Snappy showed that he was more prepared on the improvised rounds, the low buys, and just if if the defaults aren't working, he has no shortage of tactics. And I think towards the end of this year, after the first six months, he kind of found a good balance of when to pull off what. So Malz will be full on, on full alert as the smokes come cascading over the site. Three CTs here ready to defend, capable and well stocked. Good guns. Dexter presses in. Valda's out first, so all of a sudden, one half of this split down already. Oh, Madden though, oh point blank, Tech 9, see you later. A little gap for Torzi. Flexes that, bomb, stop, Dexter comes right back in. And when will his success come to an end? Because he is just churning through Entz at the moment. Yeah. In with an assist as Torzi gets the Berettas to do work. It's 18-13 for yeah. Dexter. Yeah, amazing from Dexter when they need him. When Absolutely, of this? course, his individual level has been called out a number of times. But again, you know, he was just putting up unbelievable numbers in his region, coming out of this team, not looking for space whatsoever. Picking up support rolls, dropping guns. But still, due for a big game every once in a while. And he'll be cheesing to know that this is the one here. Map three, final chance to get to top eight. Oh, too many people to shoot towards. And Dexter, Ooh, clean as can be again with the A1S. Just gonna put down these unarmored pistol players. The only thing left is the bomb out from the palace. Maybe they could have gotten away with the plant, but instead it is double digits to Mouse's camp first. He really saved that half with that 3K spray. And then I think at the 7-2 seven, seven score line, 6-2, something like that. Another key round one for Mouse that elicited a save. Snappy trying to get what he can get, but it's only one kill here in round 18. Yeah. Good start for Mouse. Yeah, but they've yet to be tested. The pocket's already looking thick. And two round lead, first to 10. Six to go for Maus to throw out all the other narratives. Besides, they were destined to make it. But as the rounds get closer to that coveted 16th, the pressure continues to sink into the back of Maus's mind. And that's where we wonder whether they can stomach it. Felt like it was a key factor in their loss to Outsiders yesterday. Never having lost Inferno versus that team until it mattered most. 
Torzi flashed off the original mid angle. We get the peak from Exertion over top of Connector. And now he's gonna fall back away towards jungle. Now Exertion honestly got stuffed inside Khan by Diha in the first half. We'll see what he can do on CT side. Couple of CTs pressed against the smoke. Works wonderfully for Exertion. Dexter tries to stop some Pius. And now that hot swap to the AK could bode well. Exertion with another fight. Split between two fronts. CT coming out from jungle to try and help, but Volda oh. and Diha in with critical kills. Torzi's found one and with the cover inside smoke. But there it is from Frozen. The tethering of Maus looks phenomenal in round 18. Yeah, everyone's close together. Yeah, they're calcifying their defense. Torzi's getting loud and he has a chance to recover. Pretty inconsistent so far in the last couple of days. His team was able to carry him through it, but he's the guy they usually look to. But look at the game plan right here. They step on both sides of Connector looking for this exact play with two CTs. That's not a coincidence. It looked like they were insecure about losing Connector control. No. They were trying to honeypot Mouse into making that decision. And I'm sorry, into making that decision to come towards A. Dexter, clean pickup. This is versus Galil's. I don't know if they'll have expected the full rebuy back in. Snappy catches Frozen in middle, plays it too dangerously. And that right there could be Entz's lifeline early in the T side. And there it is, the tempo variation. A good amount of utility, of course, here for Maus if they want to chance the retake. Confirmation that one is back oh. there. Two kills come out. Man advantage now swings the way of Maus. Madden burned back from this deep ramp spot. It really falls on Snappy, and his Galil goes dry. So much utility. They can't stop this defuse. Madden would have to cross an ocean to even have a hope in hell. Wow. Maus with the recovery ends his best chance with that full aggression classic snappy i was gonna say yeah snappy i mean it's it's variety it's not just overall so many different set plays it's slight differences in each of them this time he sends himself as a mercenary to come down mid on a lurk after making it seem like mid is totally open when the smokes come down he catches off frozen and you think all right now that he gets connector control takes the most important retake position out of the mix that there's no chance for mouse back in creates a rift in the defense, but they still come in. They still overwhelm, and they kept so much utility that there was just no way, actually, it seemed like when all the dust settled for Ents to pull that back. That's a massive win for the confidence. Energy going to be incredibly high for Mouse. Ents need to take him down a peg, and they'll have a full buy to try it. Need to keep fanning that ember. It is still a four round game. Five straight to start this CT side. Need I remind you, Entz was once winning seven to one. It is a four round game, but those round wins seem eons ago. Frozen. Tucked into Sandwich immediately. It could be Ents to try and pounce again. They will hit you fast. They will hit you hard. But Ooh. oh, the two tap out of Dexter. And Frozen's position still unknown. T's trickle in, fire at his feet. Valda shaved off slightly. And how does he get away with yet another? How does Dexter keep this going? 25 kills on Dexter. Multi-kill after multi-kill, round after round. And Maus want this win. They're going to build a statue for him in Australia after this map is over. He's really going to make this happen. His first chance at making major playoffs, the closest he has ever been. The best accomplishment of his Counter-Strike career. Kept himself above everybody else in Australia. Moved from the Oceanic region to lead the new blood of Maus, the young guns. And they try to do three things fast. Two towards mid, one with the full A hit, all ending at the same site. But what are they doing? They're powering up the A players to get ready for anything. They have a full game plan read on the lurk through the connector smoke into being able to stop fast hits that came after that. And without giving any love over to the other site, what do they feel like they should do? Is it's no t There's no time now to build out a game plan where you can confuse Maus as to what you want to try. 
and they're just going back to A again. They love Dexter. Bet they do. And he loves them. Because his stats off the chain at the moment. Madden gets through. Tech 9 in the pocket. This could be lethal. Sure enough. And now you've got an AK in the hands of Madden. Sun Pius is dead, but the gun goes back. Dexter, again, it's damage. Bomb is planted. And Madden managed to get away with that weapon, so now the rest of Maus have to come through with the retake. Last time we saw this, they did follow through. But this time, Ents have deep ticket. Yeah, they have deep ticket, but... Problematic for Torzi. He's yep. gonna keep this scoped in, slowly encroaching. Meanwhile, his two teammates walking up for Khan, and Diha keeps it clean. That second rifle finds its mark. Oh, but the nade of Frozen! Down goes Diha, smoke towards Bomb. We've got a kit on both CTs. One gets caught in the air, and JDC, Wait it's desperation. Second. He's not even inside that smoke. Ooh. An easy close here. Tech Nines to success. A 4K from Madden. Wow. He'll go down with the Bomb. He'll go down with the cause, but it's a round for Ents nonetheless. Yeah, and they sent him way out there, right? He's the guy jumping stairs right at the beginning. You can die trying to make this happen early on, but with them inside of Connector, getting ready for retake protocols. He steals an AK, turns into the three more frags. And that's Madden, and that's all Madden. in. Absolutely. All in or down bad. Yeah, he always wants a fight. And that's four to get him from eight to 12. And it's looking for 10 rounds. The Maus have done well on the rifles and ecos to maintain a solid bank. Searching now for ramp control. Where do they want to hold? They don't normally push through or even sit inside here. Dexter, no smoke in this position, only a molly, so... He can attempt the crack spot. If that op comes back in his direction, then he could have trouble. Maus have been leaning further back than this on all the A hits so far. This is not the most inspired A setup, I, I can't lie to you. He's, he's spotting now. But they're, they're loosening up. They've got one in CT. Yeah. Connector again. You know, this was the bane of Maus's T side. Flash goes through. <gasps> he gets it. Not oh. to mention, Volta's low. Madden's been tagged with damage. Sampaius gets killed. What? what is Dexter on right now? Oh. JDC comes through with another. Diha tries to reclaim some control off stairs. He's at least got this position, but they're slowly working towards him. Exertion applies the pressure, gets revenge from that first half, and Dexter sets his team up to succeed. Dexter primes 14. He makes that hard for himself. They have a flash behind it to make sure he can go for the re-aggression, but it's not just that. The accuracy, the instant dink into the spray transfer to the finish kill, to pushing the T's back to their spawn. 291 damage in from Dexter. Round 23 with his name stamped across it yet again. 28 kills. Never has he come this close and never has he wanted it this badly. Yeah, look at that focus. An entirely oh new level. Jesus. <laughs> and then the guy in the back. What's wild is we praised Sun Pius just yesterday for hitting his like career peak form to eliminate Vitality. We thought, of course, the way this map started with Sun Pius, it was going to be his tail of the tape again. But it is not that repeat performance. It's Dexter at the top. And Torzi towards mid. Three targets, gets away, a chance at a multi. He's going to topple two. A little life out of the opera. And Mao's three kills away from 15. Wow. Maybe just all they need. That's one big round. Before what could be a save. Deha looking for the lurk. Dexter looking to phase the smoke. Dexter, the final boss. Two of them, too. Even if Deha gets one, what he won't. It's Dexter in with more. Frozen comes and helps. Oh my god, that's 30. They clamp down on mid, and they'll have six match points for major playoffs. The richest man on ends has $4,100. Desperation. Desolation. And Dexter's dominance. <laughs> what is even happening? This guy's cooking up something special in the doldrums of his laboratory.
Science has never looked so easy. And they just want all the smoke at the A site. They have they gone more B a more. single time. More this and half. more. Torzi's already up. Man advantage, non-existent utility from Ents. A singular flash on Diha. They're gonna hope they can get in from Connector. And Mao's, I mean, deep prongs inside this A site. Double setup underneath that palace. The fact that they don't have mollies. The fact that they're down 3v5. Madden, he'll bring it back with one. Sun Pius is gonna slip through window. Bomb included. And Dexter just waits. He strikes down Madden. Won't be able to get the next. But now it's Exertion's chance. Look, Whoa. it goes unchecked. And with Chigger Discipline, he waits. He waits. And once he pulls it, what's his reward? Major playoffs, baby! Ho, ho, ho.